don't be afraid to ask questions. Mm -hmm. That was the hard lesson I learned. By using construction as a base, it's like, okay, well, how do you solve a problem like this? Mm -hmm. Well, research. You start with basic research. Asking questions aids in the first part of a lot of scientific discoveries and basic problem solving. What problem was Joseph Luttrell trying to solve? What was his $34,000 mistake that told him, hey, asking questions is okay? Find out in this episode. Three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Wow. There are other people working on this. My name is Joe Luttrell. My first experience with space was watching the Apollo 11 landing. Okay, yeah. that's how old I am. Just letting you know right now, I'm that old. Okay, <laughs> I saw the Apollo 11 landing as a small boy. What really cemented space for me was watching the Apollo Soyuz mission in 1975. Luttrell was always into science, but growing up, his family had him aid in the family business. By the time I was 16, I could build a house. That's crazy. I'm 17 and I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> well, it's just that was the family business. And so everyone expected that we were going to be carpenters. Mm -hmm. And instead, I got the science bug. And I wanted to be an astronaut. I tried to be an astronaut. I contacted NASA. I did not have the skills necessary to become an astronaut. When I graduated high school, I was four foot 11 and barely 100 pounds. You gotta be able to fly a plane and well, at that height, not happening. It was depressing for a while, but it's like, um, you could say I suffer from attention deficit. Ooh, shiny, okay? <laughs> so it's like, I just moved on to the next science thing that I could get my hands on. And what was this next science thing that Luttrell moved on to? Minikube satellites. It is not a simple process, I wish it were. Um, but it's a challenge. We have to figure out the springs, all the mechanisms that keep these things moving, and the electronics to drive everything. And when it reaches orbit, and it's essentially thrown out of the spacecraft, mm -hmm. it will tumble for a little bit, and then it deploys. Although Luttrell had many successes, he also struggled with a few things. This constant game of, I want to do this, but I can't, so how do I do it this way? I'm really struggling with the radio. Uh, that's what prevented me from launching my pocket cube, ultimately. We were still able to launch the payload we wanted to, but we weren't able to launch the satellite. Mm -hmm. So, lesson for you. It's a $34,000 mistake. Why may we need these satellites? Well, an important goal for Luttrell and his mini-cubes is water utilization. These satellites will allow for better monitorization and can help mitigate water shortages, provide planning for water-restricted areas, and much more. You can't cross a chasm in two small jumps. Sometimes you just have to make the leap to make things happen. Don't let anybody say you can't do something if it's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Understand there's a lot of hard work. You'll have to learn things you weren't expecting. There'll be some nice surprises. There'll be some serious highs and some serious lows. Mm -hmm. They'll usually happen the same day. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. just go for it. Don't, don't let anybody tell you you can't. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Asking Questions. If you would like to know more about Joe Luttrell and his mini cubes, you can visit his website at mini-cubes.com. Yeah. You are? Yeah. What are you talking about? Uh, Joe Luttrell and his family business. Making satellites? Uh, well, that wasn't his family business. What was his family business? Uh, carpentry. What? Carpentry. Yeah. Car carpeting. Car sar I don't know what the noun is. So he builds wooden satellites, that's what you're telling me? Well, he would build houses with his family. 
very exciting.